Oliver Stone, born William Oliver Stone on September 15, 1946, in New York City, had a diverse upbringing that influenced his later filmmaking. His father, Louis Stone, was a successful stockbroker, and his mother, Jacqueline, was a French-born artist. Stone's parents divorced when he was 10 years old, and his mother's remarriage to a wealthy man led to his family moving to Mexico City. This multicultural environment exposed Stone to different perspectives, which later reflected in his movies. Stone's early years were marked by a rebellious spirit, and he was expelled from several prestigious schools, including the Hill School and Yale University. He then enlisted in the United States Army and served in the Vietnam War, an experience that deeply affected him and became a central theme in many of his films. After his military service, Stone attended New York University's film school, where he honed his craft and met influential mentors like Martin Scorsese and Brian De Palma. Stone's early exposure to filmmaking and his experiences during the Vietnam War laid the groundwork for his unique and often controversial style. Stone's films often tackle complex and challenging subjects, and he has earned both critical acclaim and controversy for his unflinching portrayals of war, politics, and power. His work as a director includes films like Platoon, Born on the Fourth of July, JFK, and Natural Born Killers. These films reflect Stone's commitment to exploring the darker aspects of the human experience and his dedication to his craft. Oliver Stone is an acclaimed director known for his unique and thought-provoking films. He was born in New York City in 1946 and has directed many popular movies, including Platoon, JFK, and Natural Born Killers. As a viewer, have you ever been impacted by a particular moment in one of Oliver Stone's films? Is there something about his storytelling that stands out to you compared to other directors of his time? We would love to hear your thoughts and memories about Oliver Stone in the comments below. Throughout his career, Stone has tackled a variety of controversial and complex topics, often bringing a unique perspective to the table. From the Vietnam War to political conspiracies, his films have left a lasting impact on audiences around the world. Do you have a favorite Oliver Stone film or a particularly cherished memory related to his work? We invite you to share your stories and experiences with us. As we delve deeper into the life and career of this classic director, we'll uncover many surprising and interesting facts. From funny anecdotes to shocking revelations, there's much to discover about Oliver Stone. So, keep watching to learn more. Oliver Stone's passion for filmmaking was ignited during his time as a foot soldier in Vietnam. He was deeply affected by the war and its impact on both the soldiers and Vietnamese people. After returning home, he enrolled in film school, determined to tell stories that reflected the harsh realities of war. One of his earliest films, Platoon, was a deeply personal project for Stone, as it was based on his own experiences in Vietnam. The film's raw and unflinching portrayal of war earned Stone critical acclaim and cemented his reputation as a filmmaker who wasn't afraid to tackle controversial subjects. Stone's desire to tell stories that challenge the status quo has been a driving force in his career. He has often taken on projects that other filmmakers might shy away from, including films about controversial political figures like Richard Nixon and George W. Bush. Throughout his career, Stone has remained committed to using film as a tool for exploring complex and often difficult truths. His passion for storytelling and his willingness to take risks have made him one of the most respected and influential directors of his generation. Oliver Stone is a well-known director known for his work on films such as Platoon, JFK, and Natural Born Killers. He has a diverse filmography, but some of his most famous films are must-watch movies for fans. Platoon, released in 1986, is a war film that follows a group of soldiers during the Vietnam War. It's a raw and powerful portrayal of the realities of war and its effects on soldiers. JFK, released in 1991, is a political thriller that explores the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. The film is known for its controversial theories and its exploration of the events leading up to the assassination. Natural Born Killers, released in 1994, is a crime film that tells the story of two violent lovers on a killing spree. The film is known for its unique style and its exploration of the media's role in creating and glorifying violence. For those new to Stone's work, Platoon is a great place to start. It's a powerful and impactful film that showcases Stone's ability to tell compelling stories about real-world issues. 
JFK and Natural Born Killers are also must-watch films for fans of Stone's work, as they showcase his unique style and willingness to explore controversial topics. Oliver Stone, a renowned director, faced numerous challenges in his early career. Financial struggles were common as he came from a modest background and lacked the resources to fund his projects. Despite these hardships, he remained determined to bring his unique visions to life. Industry skepticism also posed a significant obstacle. Stone's unconventional storytelling methods and willingness to tackle controversial subjects made it difficult for him to gain support from studios and producers. However, instead of conforming to mainstream expectations, he turned to independent filmmaking. By embracing the indie scene, Stone found the creative freedom he needed to thrive. He wrote, directed, and produced low-budget films that showcased his distinct style and bold narrative choices. This approach allowed him to build a reputation as a daring and innovative filmmaker, eventually attracting the attention of major studios. One of Stone's early successes was the film Platoon, which he wrote and directed based on his own experiences in the Vietnam War. Despite initial industry doubts, the film became a critical and commercial hit, earning Stone his first Academy Award for Best Director. Through resilience and determination, Oliver Stone overcame early financial struggles and industry skepticism, paving the way for a groundbreaking career in filmmaking. Richard Boyle, a friend of Oliver Stone, was once asked about the moral equivalency between leaders like Paul Pot and Fidel Castro compared to those in El Salvador. This question must have resonated with Stone as he went on to direct two documentaries featuring extensive interviews with Castro. And born on the 4th of July, Stone, as a news reporter, covers a demonstration where a speaker dismisses the significance of the Bronze Star and Purple Heart medals. Ironically, these are the same honors that Stone and the real-life Ron Kovic received after serving in Vietnam. When it comes to his directing career, Stone once cast Kyle McLachlan as Ray Manzirk in The Doors. Despite McLachlan's initial audition for the role of Jim Morrison, Stone believed McLachlan was better suited for the supporting role which allowed him to film during his hiatus between seasons of Twin Peaks. This decision showcases Stone's ability to recognize talent and adapt to scheduling constraints in the filmmaking process. Oliver Stone's career is marked by several breakthrough moments, each revealing his unique storytelling ability and directorial style. In the 1980s, Stone gained recognition for his Vietnam War films, starting with Platoon, which won the Academy Award for Best Picture. Military advisor Dale Dye, who worked on the film, praised Stone for his dedication to authenticity, saying he wanted to get it right to show the human cost of war. Born on the 4th of July further established Stone's reputation for tackling controversial subjects. The film, based on Ron Kovic's memoir, earned Tom Cruise an Oscar nomination for his portrayal of a disillusioned Vietnam War veteran. Cruise said of Stone, his passion and vision were inspiring. He pushed me to my limits, and I'm grateful for that. In the 1990s, Stone turned his attention to political thrillers, with JFK being a standout. The film, which explored the assassination of President John F. Kennedy, sparked widespread debate and reignited public interest in the case. Critic Roger Ebert noted, Stone doesn't claim to have the final truth, but he presents a powerful case that the Warren Commission was wrong. Natural Born Killers further showcased Stone's ability to provoke and entertain. The film, a hyper-stylized exploration of media violence, divided critics but remains a cult classic. Actor Woody Harrelson, who played one of the lead roles, said, Oliver is a visionary. He's not afraid to take risks and push boundaries. Throughout his career, Stone has continued to challenge audiences and critics alike with films like Snowden and Untold History of the United States. His work has left an indelible mark on American cinema with his breakthrough moments serving as testaments to his enduring impact. Oliver Stone's initial choices for the role of Jim Garrison in the movie JFK were Harrison Ford and Mel Gibson. However, fate had other plans. After Kevin Costner's successful stint in Robin Hood Prince of Thieves, he aimed to take a year off from filmmaking. But Oliver Stone wasn't one to back down. He boldly sent Costner's wife a copy of the JFK screenplay, hoping she'd convince him otherwise she did. Interestingly, Stone viewed JFK as his road film, drawing inspiration from the classic Bonnie and Clyde. It's not the usual comparison you'd make, but Stone saw a parallel in the journey and the pursuit of justice in both stories. 
This unique perspective added depth and intrigue to the movie, making it a compelling watch. Oliver Stone is a director known for his unique artistic vision and passionate storytelling. He often explores political and social issues, drawing from his personal experiences and worldview. Stone's films are known for their intensity and complexity, often presenting multiple perspectives on controversial events. His directorial process is hands-on and meticulous, with a focus on detailed research and thorough preparation. He often rewrites scripts and works closely with actors to ensure authenticity and emotional resonance. Stone's distinctive style includes the use of non-linear narrative structures, vivid cinematography, and immersive sound design. Stone's personal experiences, including his service in Vietnam, his time at the New York Film School, and his work as a screenwriter in Hollywood, have significantly influenced his work. His films often reflect his skepticism of authority and his interest in the darker aspects of human nature. Stone's worldview is often reflected in his exploration of power, corruption, and the human cost of political and social upheaval. His body of work, which includes films like Platoon, Wall Street, JFK, and Natural Born Killers, has left an indelible mark on American cinema. Stone's ability to combine personal passion with rigorous research and a unique directorial style has resulted in a body of work that continues to captivate audiences and inspire filmmakers. In Oliver Stone's film Nixon, Sir Anthony Hopkins was cast as the former president due to his ability to portray inner conflict, a quality Stone admired after watching the remains of the day. For Platoon, Stone wanted James Woods, his star from Salvador, to join Alpha Company as major. However, Woods declined, having had a difficult experience with the muddy filming conditions in Mexico. Woods would later express interest in JFK, but would not work with Stone again until Nixon. Regarding Platoon's release, Stone has expressed dissatisfaction with its premiere during the 1988 holiday season, attributing the film's initial oversight to this timing. It was Garth Drabinsky, Cineplex Odeon CEO, who decided to release the film during that period. Oliver Stone, a renowned director, has made significant contributions to the film industry and has had a profound influence on trends, techniques, and storytelling. Industry experts and those he has inspired have recognized his impact. Stone's films often tackle controversial and thought-provoking subjects, challenging societal norms and exploring the complexities of human nature. His unique storytelling style, which combines realism with compelling narratives, has captivated audiences worldwide. According to industry experts, Stone's films have influenced a generation of filmmakers, pushing boundaries and encouraging a more honest and introspective approach to storytelling. His use of innovative techniques, such as non-linear storytelling and blending different genres, has inspired many aspiring directors to experiment and take risks. Filmmakers and critics have praised Stone for his ability to shed light on historical events and political issues through his films. His work has sparked discussions and shaped public opinion on topics ranging from war and corruption to the consequences of power. In conclusion, Oliver Stone's contribution to the film industry is significant. Through his bold storytelling and willingness to tackle controversial subjects, he has influenced trends, techniques, and the way stories are told. His impact can be seen in the work of filmmakers who have been inspired by his groundbreaking approach to filmmaking. Oliver Stone has directed three movies about American presidents JFK about John F. Kennedy, Nixon, and W. about George W. Bush. And in commentary, Stone mentioned that filming the murder scene in JFK was challenging, but he found it to be a powerful experience. The script for Natural Born Killers was initially written by Quentin Tarantino, and he had promised to direct it himself. However, due to funding issues, he and his friend Rand Bossler decided to shoot it guerrilla style on the streets of Los Angeles using black heat and white 16mm film stock. Just before production, Stone discovered the script and wanted to buy it. In exchange for giving up his directorial debut, Rand is credited as a co-producer. Oliver Stone, an esteemed director, is known for his engaging films that often reflect his personal values and interests. Away from the spotlight, Stone is a family man who cherishes his time with his wife and children. He has a deep interest in history, which is evident in many of his films like JFK and Nixon. Stone is also passionate about social justice and is involved in various philanthropic efforts. 
He has been a longtime supporter of the rights of Native Americans and has worked closely with the Lakota Sioux Tribe in South Dakota. Stone has used his platform to raise awareness about their struggles and has even made documentaries highlighting their cause. Moreover, Stone is an environmentalist and has been vocal about the need to protect our planet. He has supported various environmental organizations and has incorporated environmental themes in his films, such as The Doors and Savages. In addition, Stone is a veteran and has been active in veterans affairs. He has worked with organizations that support veterans' mental health and has advocated for better health care for former soldiers. Stone's personal experiences as a soldier in Vietnam have significantly influenced his work with films like Platoon and Born on the Fourth of July earning critical acclaim. Overall, Stone's personal values and interests shape his filmmaking and his philanthropic efforts demonstrate his commitment to making a positive impact on society. Oliver Stone is known for his immersive approach to filmmaking. When writing the first draft of the screenplay for Platoon, he completed it in just six weeks. Stone's hands-on method extended to the filming location, where he proposed that the cast and crew camp out on location. Although they agreed at first, everyone hurried back down to the valley after hiking up the hill and finishing their work for the day. In Nixon, Stone took on multiple roles, serving as the director, producer, co-screenwriter, and even providing an uncredited narration during the closing credits. His dedication to his projects is evident in the numerous duties he assumes, further highlighting his commitment to his craft. Oliver Stone is a highly respected director in the film industry, known for his provocative and thought-provoking work. Throughout his career, he has tackled a wide range of topics and genres, from war films like Platoon and Born on the Fourth of July to political thrillers such as JFK and Nixon. His films often explore complex themes and controversial issues, leaving a lasting impact on audiences and the industry as a whole. When it comes to his future contributions, Stone continues to be actively involved in filmmaking and has several projects in the works. He remains committed to telling compelling stories that challenge viewers and shed light on important societal issues. For aspiring professionals in the field, Stone offers the following advice, always stay true to your vision and never be afraid to take risks. The film industry is constantly evolving and it's important to stay innovative and push boundaries. Don't be discouraged by setbacks or rejection. Instead, use those experiences as opportunities to learn and grow. And most importantly, never lose sight of why you fell in love with filmmaking in the first place. In conclusion, Oliver Stone's legacy in the film industry is marked by his bold and uncompromising storytelling. His future contributions promise to continue this trend, inspiring a new generation of filmmakers to create captivating and thought-provoking work. Aspiring professionals can learn from Stone's example by staying true to their vision, taking risks, and never giving up on their dreams. In the film Born on the Fourth of July, Oliver Stone made a cameo as a news reporter. Interestingly, 11 other actors from his earlier Vietnam War film, Platoon, also appeared in this movie. Moving on to Wall Street, Stone cast Charlie Sheen as Bud Fox, despite Tom Cruise's interest in the role. In this film, Stone himself portrayed a traitor with an office in the same building as the character Gordon Gecko. In The Doors, Stone took on the role of a UCLA film professor. The movie, however, received criticism from the band members for its inaccuracies. Keyboardist Ray Manzarek expressed his discontent, saying it caused real damage to his memory of Jim Morrison. Drummer John Densmore and guitarist Robbie Krieger also shared this view, with Krieger noting that it could have been worse. Oliver Stone's journey in the entertainment industry is a testament to the power of passion and innovation. From his early days as a Vietnam War veteran to becoming an esteemed director, Stone has consistently pushed boundaries and explored thought-provoking themes in his work. His unique storytelling style and willingness to tackle controversial subjects have left an indelible mark on cinema. Throughout his career, Stone has demonstrated a commitment to exploring the complexities of the human experience. His films, including Platoon, JFK, and Natural Born Killers, have captivated audiences and sparked important conversations about war, politics, and the human condition. Stone's ability to bring historical events to life in a vivid and engaging way has solidified his place as a master storyteller. Despite facing numerous challenges and obstacles throughout his career, Stone has remained steadfast in his pursuit of creative excellence. 
His perseverance and determination serve as a powerful reminder of the importance of staying true to one's vision and never giving up, even in the face of adversity. In the end, Stone's legacy is one of innovation, passion, and impact. His work has not only entertained and inspired audiences around the world, but has also shed light on some of the most important issues of our time. As we reflect on Stone's incredible journey, we are reminded of the power of creativity and the enduring impact that a single person can have on the world. In 2006, Oliver Stone directed World Trade Center with cooperation from the Port Authority, making it his only war-related film with government backing. The film features a significant cavalry charge scene, which Stone funded by sacrificing his 25,000 paycheck. Before casting Val Kilmer as Jim Morrison in The Doors, Stone, a UCLA film professor, had encountered Kilmer's dedication. Kilmer had memorized all of Morrison's song's lyrics and sent Stone a video of himself performing Doors songs. However, Stone felt that this audition tape negatively impacted Kilmer's Morrison portrayal image. Oliver Stone, as a director, is known for his demanding nature and attention to detail. This was evident when he was working with Frank Whaley on the set of Bourne on the 4th of July. Whaley, who was cast in the first scene with Tom Cruise, had to fly in from Carolina the night before filming and had no time to prepare his lines. This angered Stone, but Whaley's apology and Cruise's reassurance seemed to have satisfied the director, leading to future collaborations. Stone's use of symbolism is also notable in Bourne on the 4th of July. The close-up shots of Nick Nolte's character's ring, which bears a Freemasonic insignia, may have been used to convey the character's weak moral fiber and repugnant behavior. Stone's reputation as a conspiracy theorist lends credence to this theory. In Platoon, Stone's direction brought out the individuality of each actor, as seen in the messages they wrote on their helmets. Charlie Sheen's message, When I die, bury me upside down so the world can kiss my ass, and Johnny Depp's tribute to Cheryl and Fenn, are examples of this. Mark Moses' helmet, adorned with Mad Magazine mascot Alfred E. Newman, and the phrase what, me worry? Even caused Stone to laugh hysterically during filming. In summary, Stone's demanding nature, attention to detail, and use of symbolism, and individuality in his directing have left an indelible mark on the film industry. Let's take a moment to discuss the work and legacy of acclaimed director, Oliver Stone. With a career spanning over four decades, Stone has made a significant impact on the film industry. From his early days as a screenwriter to his directorial debut with Seizure in 1974, Stone has consistently pushed boundaries and explored controversial topics. Some of his most notable works include Platoon, Born on the Fourth of July, and JFK, which have earned him multiple Academy Awards. Stone's films often delve into the complexities of American history, politics, and society, providing a unique and thought-provoking perspective. His work has resonated with audiences worldwide, sparking important conversations and shedding light on often overlooked aspects of our history. Whether you're a fan of his films or have yet to explore his work, we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoy our content celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment, please consider liking and sharing this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful discussions and interviews. Together, let's celebrate the enduring impact of Oliver Stone's work and legacy.